Hey everyone, Irix Guy here, back again with a uh, with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Now, what I want to explain in this tutorial is the value of creating a static intro for your videos. So, uh, for example, if you maybe you're a YouTube producer and you want to have a consistent look and feel across all videos of a certain type, what you'll probably want to do is create a uh, create an intro clip and it'll save you time because you can create an intro video clip with your title and whatever theme or whatever and then just simply drag that in in front of future videos you create so for example I got this water ski video here uh, now I don't have a bicycle video right now but I do have my my bicycle intro so I've got this MOV file on my desktop and I'll just drag it in front of my new video uh, now this MOV file is already, uh, it's something that I edited in the past and it says Irix Guys Bicycle Stuff. And it says youtube.com forward slash Irix Guys. So basically all I do is paste that in front of my new video. And the only thing I need to add is a transition because you don't want to go right from your intro to your uh, to your new content. So I'll hit the transition button, and then I'll just use a circle for this one. I mean, you can use whatever you want to. And it's rendering right now. So you saw that transition. So that was an intro that I created in the past. I could whip out 15 or 20 or however many bicycle and videos, water skiing videos or whatever. Um, and I wouldn't have to create the intro again. Now the importance of the intro, not only from a time saving perspective, but having it in there, you give all your videos of that particular thing. In this case it would be bicycling stuff. You give them all that consistent look and feel while promoting your your company or in this case promoting my YouTube channel. So I've you know people watch that video and they know it's Irish Guy's bicycle stuff and they know to go to youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy uh, to see more videos that that are related to bicycling. And that's important because as uh, as videos are spread among social media sites, Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, etc, people aren't necessarily going to take the time when they watch the video to go see where the uh, the video originated from but if you hit if you hit each video with an intro like that it's in their face before they even watch your video where it came from and it's likely if they like the video it's likely going to encourage them to go and watch the rest of them anyway thanks for watching this is just another Final Cut Pro 10 tip um, feel free to check out all my videos I got a YouTube uh, playlist and it's in this video's description and like with all videos, feel free to share. And if there's something I hadn't posted yet, let me know and I'll see if I can make a video. Y'all have a good one.